way, girl. Yeah. Take long, girl. Hello, Arthur. You know you got blood all over you? Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Okay, I think I Thank you, Arthur. some sleep. How you boys doing? Mind if I stand a while? My lord, but mark my words, one of these days, Karen um, split on Grimm's throat. We all hate her, but Mary Beth is sort of peaceful, and, and Abigail, she doesn't have time for that kind of nonsense. And, uh, Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... 
They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. It's okay, girl. Like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. Here we are. Good. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. You know 
your mouth, mister. Come here! Come here! 
not again. You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please? Please? I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. You know? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I... I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place. Out the roads down by the river. A lot of money. Very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Dumbass. Look what the cat dragged in. Not again. Thank <laughs> you. 
with you momentarily. Oh, damn. Liberty is worth every penny. Hello, how can I help? See you later. Hey, you want a ride? I can take you wherever you need to go. Long time, girl. We'll see how many teeth I can get down your throat. And I thought we was all set to dance. Can I get a ride, please, partner? So where are you headed? Suit yourself, then. Again, good to see you again. <sighs> We're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance Yeah. Hey there. 
Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. What's the matter with you?
Let's go, girl. Yeah.